Okay, today we're going to talk about simple. I'm sorry, simplifying radicals expressions. Okay, that's our title we see here. Now, with the square root symbol, we have. We'll work with that for now. And expressions with square roots. We have a couple of main rules uh, we use in simplifying radical expressions. If we have two numbers, a and b. Now, if these two numbers, if we multiply their square roots, we will show you what that means now. So we can see this here. A, the square root of A times the square root of B is equal to the square root of A times B, or we would say square root of AB. Now these are numbers, understand. We'll look at a few examples now to show you what this means, all right? Okay, now we can see here we have 2 times 18 equals 36. So the square root of 36. Now understand, this isn't our final answer. The reason being is that the square root of 36 can be simplified. We can actually take the square of that. The square root of that is a perfect square. Meaning we're going to take the square root of 36. And that is... So now when we multiply this, these um, uh, square roots, several square roots together, if the answer is a perfect square, please take the square root of it. Now, the square root of 36, now I'm saying here the answer is 6, and I'm partially right. So 6 squared equals 36. That's correct. Now, the square root of 36 has another answer as well. Okay, that's one answer we normally, we all expect 6 squared equals 36. That's normal to us, quote unquote. That's positive 6. Now, think about the negative 6 squared. That answer is also positive 36. So when you see, I'll write the, the, the cloud symbol. It's what I'm what I'm saying is think it, think of it this way. Think about negative six squared is thirty six. So we tend to write the answer to square root of thirty six is plus or minus six.
That's the correct answer. The square root of 36 is equal to plus minus 6, positive 6 and negative 6. See, it can be plus or minus, all right? And that's the answer for that one. Now, our next example. Okay, we have square root of 7 times the square root of 11xy. All right. Okay, it's a little different, but remember, we talked about our rules. The square root, the product of two square roots means you just multiply the insides of those. What does this mean? 7 times 11, 77. What about our xy? We keep them. Watch how we write it down. Okay, now that's our example. So we would move, we would keep them product with the letters, the variables, as if, you know, if we had 4x squared, it'd be, or 8, it'd be 2 times 4 is 8. So we keep them the same way we do, or we would do other problems. Okay, now we have the square root of x times the square root of the quantity x plus 3. I use the dot symbol for multiplication, and it really isn't necessary. You can write this without it, and it will still mean multiplication. As I wrote it here without the, without the dot symbol, it's still multiplication. If I had... 2x, y, z means 2 times x times y times z. You don't need the dot symbol in between 2x, y, and z. So now, is it simply x times x and then plus 3? Not so much. So this dist distribution process, we're using the same way, the same way to multiply the square root of x times the square root of x plus 3. Now why we use the the parentheses. Now, it's because it's x times the entire square root of x plus 3, not just x. So you have to distribute this, the x over the other expression. 